Hey everyone, Kelly Hale here, Realtor in Nanaimo, BC. If you've watched my previous videos, you may have noticed I'm in a new space again. As we're getting settled into the house and making changes here and there, my workspace keeps changing as does my video space. So welcome to my August market update. So usually I like to talk a little bit about Vancouver Island as a whole and Nanaimo. So Overall, on the island in August, we saw 50% less active listings than August 2020. So I'm not surprised by that, and I'm not surprised for two reasons. First off, this past August, I don't know about you guys, but lots of realtors, lots of my clients, everyone was taking a much needed break. Um, so taking many vacations in and around this beautiful province. So expected that August was going to be a slower month overall, and it was shown and on the entire island it was. Uh, second reason why is August 2020 was quite busy for us. Um, so, you know, the number of listings, the number of sales were were higher than previous years. And, and that was because, you know, after the pandemic hit in March um, and after a little bit of a slowdown for six weeks or so, things just went crazy, as we all know. So all throughout the summer, we were we were way busier than normal. So not surprised that this August was a little bit less action. So let's drill down to Nanaimo. Number of sales for Nanaimo in August was 130. So that was 140 in July, so 10 less sales. Again, not surprised uh, based on everyone taking some time off. And then if we're looking at benchmark prices, um, then we're looking at about 742K. This is all approximate. $742,000 was the benchmark price for a single family home in Nanaimo for August. So that was up a couple thousand. So it was $739 in July. For apartments, the benchmark price was around $415,000. So that was up from about $397 from July. And then looking at townhouses, the benchmark price was about $502,000 up from about 493 in July. So trend that we've been seeing, the prices uh, are, are slowly going up um, as more people are coming over to the island or people are moving in and around the island and uh, this beautiful city is growing. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for all the new work that's being done in and around the city. The, the waterfront's gonna have some work done to it. We've got new building going on. And with that will come new better amenities and lots of other things the city will be able to put money into. So, so that, that's the general update for August 2020. Um, we're already mid-September, so September typically, you know, it's a new fall market. So usually things pick up. Definitely have seen an uptick in listings this last uh, week or two. And also clients now reaching out again and wanting to start up their search again. So expect over hopefully the next month we're going to be seeing more listings ideally and with the federal election coming september 20th each candidate kind of has their own strategy for how they're going to improve our housing market we'll see we'll see who wins and we'll see what you know what policies they introduce um you know what actually does go through and get implemented and how that will affect our housing market time will tell and that's a whole other topic so uh, we'll see what happens after september 20th so thanks again for listening in if anyone wants to talk about any area in and around nanaimo and further detail feel free to reach out here on youtube instagram facebook kelly hale real estate or info at kellyhale.ca thanks again take care guys